It's Amazon Prime Day today, so that means it's time to look through all of the smart home tech deals to find some hidden gems. I got up super early today and so did Sarah, and we looked through all of the Prime Day deals to find if there is anything good. So here is all of our favorite picks. As usual, we will break them down into individual categories so that you can skip around through them to find the things that you're interested in. And also down in the description, you will find a link to a Google Sheet that we will keep adding new deals to and we'll have tons more than we can mention in this video. And we will add to that sheet as we find them over the next day so that you guys can go over there and get the latest information. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the deals, starting with security cameras. All right, so security cameras are usually where we see lots of deals traditionally. So if you're looking to pick up a new system or add cameras to your existing one, now could be a good time to do that. For individual cameras, there is some good deals for PoE cameras, wireless cameras, as well as NVR systems. Looking at wired PoE cameras first, the Reolink RLC822A is a 4K dome camera with three times optical zoom, human and vehicle detection, infrared night vision, and audio recording for 67 pounds. Just like all PoE cameras from Reolink, it does support RTSP and OnVIF, meaning you can connect it to any security system you want. This makes it one of my favorite cameras Reolink makes and has been for a good while now, so that's one to look into. Reolink also has a two pack of the RLC810A for £127, which is basically the same camera, but in bullet form factor and without the optical zoom. But that 4K resolution does make things very clear anyways. And I do have a review of that exact camera up here if you are interested. Finally, Reolink also has their RLC812A for £52, which is again a very similar camera. No optical zoom, but does have color night vision as well as two-way audio. Anki also has a 4K camera on sale too, the C800, which is a eight megapixel dome camera with human and vehicle detection, wide dynamic range and an SD card slot for £63. Again, these do support RTSP and OnVIF for connecting to any system. Finally, if you're looking for something absolutely baller, the Reolink RLC823A PTZ camera is on sale for £202. This thing has spotlights, 360 degree pan, color night vision, auto tracking of people, and tons more features. Basically, this is Reolink's flagship camera with every bell and whistle. For wireless cameras, we have the Eufy Cam 2C wireless battery camera available in both two pack with the base station for £150 or £63 for a one pack without the base station if you already have one of those. Those are 1080p cameras with batteries, with local recording, HomeKit compatibility, and a built-in spotlight. We also have the Eufy SoloCam E40 for $69.99, nice, and it has AI person detection, two-way audio, a 2K resolution, and up to four months on a single battery charge. Google also has their Nest wireless camera for £120 with AI alerts, battery power and two-way audio also, although be aware that that one will need a subscription for recording and it doesn't do local recording. Finally, we have the Reolink Argus PT plus solar panel combo for £98. This is a pan and tilt camera with 2K resolution, two-way audio and AI detection, and that solar panel should be able to keep it continuously charged too so that you never have to worry about battery life. I found two good NVR systems also. This one from Anki that comes with four of their C800 cameras mentioned earlier and a two terabyte hard drive for lots of recording space and it provides PoE for all of the cameras for £408. There's also one from Reolink for £352 which again includes a two terabyte hard drive and four eight megapixel bullet cameras which look like RLC 810As and that should also be a really good system. By the way, if you are buying smart home tech to protect your property, like security cameras, you're probably going to want to check out the sponsor of today's video, Lockit. Lockit is an insurance provider that helps you to improve your home protection, and to be fair, who doesn't want that? Better yet, they have this amazing in-app switching assistance, which helps you cancel your old cover quickly, easily, and hassle-free, because who has time for long, confusing cancellation processes? 
Also, that possible cancellation fee from your old provider, no problem, Locket covers the fee and you'll get the same amount back in Amazon vouchers, which, you know, you could use to buy even more smart home devices. Just saying. All you need to do is provide a few details to Locket and they will equip you with everything else you need. Easy peasy. Check them out with the link in the video description. Moving on to video doorbells, the first deal that I found for you is the Eufy Video Doorbell Jewel. I recently reviewed this and I do quite like it. It's a 2K video doorbell with local recording, 180 day battery life, or you can wire it up to the mains, dual cameras for package detection and other AI features. It's available for £179 with the base station or £129 without the base station if you already have one. There is also this Blink Video Doorbell Plus Sync module for £49, which has a claimed two year battery life and can be wired or wireless. And because it has the included sync module, that does mean that you can store recordings locally on USB storage and avoid any cloud subscriptions, which makes this a pretty cool package for such a low price. Google Nest also has their battery doorbell on sale too, a really nice looking doorbell for £120. Although be aware that this again does have cloud subscription fees and there is no local recording. So just be aware of that if you are going to buy. There is also a crazy deal for a Ring Video Doorbell plus Echo Show 5 2021 edition for £60. Again, be aware of that cloud fee with that product. Next up, Smart Lighting. Now, Smart Lighting is a little bit of a minefield. There are a lot of bad products out there, but I did find some good stuff. Firstly, Philips Hue seems to actually have some good deals this year, which is good to see. Firstly, they have these two pack of white Zigbee bulbs for just £24, a white and colour two pack for £30, a two pack of GU10 bulbs for £50, the Hue Go 2 white and colour portable light for £47, and the Hue Bloom white and colour table lamp for £60. These are all Zigbee products and should integrate nicely and give you local control. Linkind also has these Zigbee bulbs for small lamps too. I have some of these in our bedroom and they work really good and they go from cool white to warm white. I also found these Govi Glide RGB IC wall lights which look pretty slick for £63. They would be great on a gaming setup or something like that as well as a Govi 5 meter LED strip for just £16. And both of these should work with the Govi integration that is available in Hacks if you are adding it to Home Assistant. I also found the WS2812 RGB strip on sale at £29. Nice and bright with 60 LEDs per meter and great for DIY projects similar to my kitchen RGB strips, just without the white channel. There's also some good deals on smart switches too. Sonoff has their NS panel smart scene switch available for £63, down from £90, quite a bit more than the original Kickstarter price admittedly, but if you've been waiting for a deal on those, then now is your chance. I've got a review of those up here as well as a guide on how to flash them with your own custom firmware like ESP Home if you are interested too. Sonoff also has various smart relays for sale also, including their Zigbee mini switch, which goes in behind your existing light switch for smart functionality. And they also have their four channel R3, which is good for a four gang light switch. Akara also has their light switches on sale too. These are the ones I use in my house and I really like them. They are Zigbee, available in neutral or non-neutral configurations, as well as double or single rockers. They also have their wireless single or double rocker switches for £21 and their mini switches for £13. That has quite a bit of functionality and they are pretty useful to have scattered around your house for some smart scenes. Switchbot also has their Bluetooth wireless switch in there as well for £10 too, which has two buttons as well as a long and short press. And I guess you could also include the Switchbot bot here too, which is an easy way of turning any button smart for £17. Moving on to sensors. So firstly, Akara has big discounts on all of their devices. So make sure to check the Google Sheet for all of those. But the Akara P1 motion sensor has 30% off at £17. This is their new and improved motion sensor model with better battery life and configurable timeout. Really good motion sensor that and is of course Zigbee. So that does mean local control. 
They have their Zigbee temperature and humidity sensors available for £14.2, their air quality sensor for £32, their door contact sensor for £13. That thing is an absolute tank. And also they have their water leak sensor for £14 for getting early detection on water leaks. Develco, or otherwise known as Freant, has their Zigbee motion sensor for £20. The thing I like about that one is that it also has a temperature sensor built inside too. Next up, we have smart curtains and blinds. So just yesterday, I reviewed the Akara Curtain Driver E1, which is a Zigbee-based solution. I really like it so far. Great battery life, good performance, and it works great. That is currently £80 down from £100, and the unit that we compared it against, the SwitchBot Curtain Rod 2, is also on sale for £60 down from £85, and that is an insane deal and a really good product for that money too. And I think SwitchBot is offering an extra 5% off that price with a discount code just for ESH viewers, and I'll have that linked down in the Google spreadsheet if you want to take advantage of that discount. Akara also have their E1 roller shade driver, which I've been using on the blind that is just over here since that came out, and it is a fantastic little unit also. Zigbee based with a good battery life, and that is just £42, which is pretty great deal in my opinion, if you're looking to automate a roller shade. Moving on to smart vacuums, there are actually quite a lot of good deals this year, it seems. First up, we have the Ecovacs D-Bot X1 Omni, which is their flagship model with vacuum and mopping, auto empty base station, voice control, camera, multi-floor mapping, and all of the bells and whistles that D-Bot has to offer for $8.99 down from $14.99. I haven't yet finished my review of this exact model yet, but it is a pretty insane bit of kit if you are into that. We also have the competitor to that model on sale too, the iRobot Roomba S9 Plus. Again, with an automatic empty base station for $9.99 down from $14.99 also. No mopping on that one, but the S9 Plus is a very capable vacuum and is a well-known model. At the more middle of the road price range, we have the Ecovacs D-Bot N8 Plus with auto empty base station and laser detection for $3.79 down from $5.99. That one also does multi-floor mapping, carpet detection and mopping all in one too for a pretty good price. And again, we also have the iRobot Roomba i7 Plus for $5.79, again with multi-surface, base station and other great features. We also have the Eufy Robovac X8 for £380 with laser navigation, vacuum and mopping, and multi-floor mapping too. If you're looking for something a little less pricey, we do have the Eufy Robovac 30C for £140. Nothing fancy and it does have a more basic navigation system, but Eufy is a good brand and I'm sure that this does a good job for such a low price and is a good entry into the world of smart vacuums. Since this is Prime Day, you know there is going to be big discounts on smart displays, especially on the Amazon Echo devices. This year we have the Amazon Echo Show 5 2021 model, which is a 5.5 inch touch display with a two megapixel camera for making video calls with a built-in privacy cover, and of course, Amazon ALEXA built in, all for £35. Pretty insane what you can get these days for £35. And we also have the Echo Show 8 2021 model, which is the bigger version with an eight inch HD display with a 13 megapixel camera and two speakers instead of a single speaker. Although this does appear to be a certified refurbished model. So just be aware of that before purchase. There is also the huge Echo Show 15, which is the giant touch display that came out last year for £190. That's got a 15.6 inch 1080p display with a five megapixel camera for video calls, two speakers, privacy covers, and all of the ALEXA bells and whistles if you are interested in that. For smart speakers, there is again many deals on all of the Amazon devices. The Echo Dot fourth generation is just £20 down from £50. Great if you want to have a couple of these dotted all around your house for music or voice control. We also have the Echo fourth generation, which is the Zigbee hub built in and better speakers for £55 
down from £90. And we also have the older Echo Dot third generation for just £17, although I'd probably get the Echo Dot fourth generation for £3 more, personally, unless you want to have the smaller form factor of the third generation. Tablets make an appearance here too, in case you're interested in building your own smart home wall control panel. A good find here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8, 32 gigabyte model for £150, down from 220. This has a 10.5 inch display, four gigabytes of RAM and an eight core processor and all of the usual Samsung refinements and software. 32 gigabytes should also be plenty for wall panel duties too. This hasn't been out that long, meaning that you should get a good amount of software updates for a few years to come. And generally it does seem like a nice tablet overall, especially for that price. We also have the cheaper Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, 32 gigabyte model for just 114 pounds, which has an 8.7 inch display, three gigabytes of RAM, and again, Samsung software. Plus we also have the Fire HD8 tablet for just 35 pounds with ads or 45 pounds without ads. I know people sometimes complain of these tablets being a little sluggish, but again, for that money, it's insane what you can get these days. If you're looking for a bigger display, the Fire HD 10 is a 10 inch display with 32 gigabytes of storage and no ads for 90 pounds. And there is also the Fire HD 10 Plus for 120 pounds without ads also, which is a 70 pounds saving. Moving on to thermostats, first up we have the Tado Smart Kit V3 Plus for £108. This includes the internet bridge to get you up and running and is Home Assistant compatible. Although be aware that this is a cloud integration with no option for local API or local control and it doesn't appear to be compatible locally in any way so please be aware of that if you're looking to buy. There is also the Starter Radiator Kit also from Tado that includes two radiator TRVs for £130, down from £200. Again, make sure to look into that local control. There is also the Google Nest Thermostat third generation, which learns your heating patterns for £160. Again, not locally controlled though, so do be aware. This is also an interesting one. Miros has a smart radiator thermostat starter kit, which includes a TRV2. But the thing I like about this one is that it is Apple HomeKit compatible, so should connect directly to Home Assistant and give you local control. Also, the price is just £38, which seems pretty insane. Honeywell also has a wireless thermostat too, also with HomeKit support for £152, quite a lot more expensive than the Miros, but looks like a nice unit, at least on the surface. There's also the Zigbee Smart TRVs for just £24, which is nuts. Not sure if these are compatible with ZHA or Zigbee 2 MQTT, but it does seem worth a go, at least for that price. Second to last, we have some smart plugs. Not that many great picks this year, but still some good ones. Sonoff has a two pack of Zigbee smart plugs for just £19 or four pack for £32. No fancy energy monitoring with these ones, but they do act as routers for your Zigbee network and support up to 13 amps each. Miros also has some Wi-Fi smart plugs too, a two pack for £20 or a four pack for £34. These are Wi-Fi, however, they are HomeKit compatible, so should give you local control again, which is really nice. Miros also has this six-way smart power strip with four USB ports. This one isn't compatible with HomeKit, unfortunately, but it is compatible with Samsung SmartThings, so there's possibly something that can be done there. TP-Link Casa also has a three-plug power strip with two USB ports for £22. I think this one might possibly have local control with Home Assistant 2 now, since I think they re-enabled it recently, if I'm not mistaken, but please do make sure to check that before committing. Finally, some odds and ends miscellaneous stuff that I came across on my travels. This freaking huge portable power station, which Anchor actually sponsored a video with us before, is on sale for £210. It's got a giant 256 watt hour battery, tons of ports, lasts for ages, perfect for camping or a weekend away. Not sponsored by Anchor or anything like that, but I did really like this thing and we actually use it around the house all the time. I also spotted this Amazon Fire TV Cube 4K 
streaming media player for half price at £54. And this also has Amazon ALEXA support built into it too. There's also the 1080p Fire TV stick also available for £18. And both of these are a cheap way to make any TV smart. There's also the Yale Connexus L1 smart lock is on sale for £150 down from £200. This large air purifier from Koei is £245 down from £350 and does work with Home Assistant through a custom integration. There's also the Roku streaming stick 4K for £30 as well as this large smart fan from Govi for £80. And we finally got there. That is all of the good deals that I found out there on Prime Day today. Again, we're going to have a giant spreadsheet linked down in the description that we're going to keep updating over the next two days with everything that we find. And we will have different countries and everything listed in there too. So I know we only covered the UK stuff here today, but check the spreadsheet for other countries too. And we will have tons more items listed there that we couldn't cover in this video. If you have any tips for deals that you have found, then leave them down in the comments or better yet, join the Discord and let me know and we can get them added to the spreadsheet so that we can all join in and get involved with the deals. Anyways, that is about going to do it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. Happy shopping and make sure to drop this video a like, get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.